This is Detective Inspector Neil Corbell, a Metropolitan Police counter-terrorism detective who has recently been convicted and sentenced to three years in prison. 40-year-old Corbell admitted 19 counts of voyeurism after secretly filming models, who he had booked through an online agency under the guise of a photo shoot whilst pretending to be an airline pilot with an interest in photography. Other victims of Corbell's depraved but not surprising behaviour were said to have been escorts and prostitutes, who claimed to have consented to sexual activity with him, but did not agree to be filmed. Corbell used miniature cameras hidden in tissue boxes, phone chargers and glasses in order to film the unaware victims. In 2019, Corbell was challenged by one of his victims after she found a pair of his spy glasses with a charging port and was eventually caught out after another woman suspected that a wall clock may have had a hidden camera in it. 19 women in total came forward during the investigation for which Corbell was charged with a single count of voyeurism against each. Even though Corbell was a Met detective, his crimes were carried out in hotels and Airbnbs in London, Brighton and Manchester. Sentencing Corbell, Judge Edmonds said, it is clear that the revelation to your victims that you were a serving police officer has for many of them seriously undermined their trust in the police. Something that those individuals, given their various lines of work, is a particularly serious matter, just as the revelation of your offending must impact on public trust. In mitigation, Corbell's barrister, Edward Henry QC, argued that his client's diagnosed sex addiction was a factor in his crimes. And it's shocking how many police think that confessing to be a sex addict of some description will actually go in their favour. Corbell's addiction began in his childhood and had ultimately brought an end to a 13-year policing court career, Mr Henry told the court. Now, if this is the case, then police should have or should be looking into his past, as this is likely not an isolated incident of his perverted ways. He said its roots are in his pre-pubertal life that overwhelmed him, destroyed his career, almost destroyed him and her his undeserving and loyal wife and family. The fact he was a policeman has nothing to do with the execution of this offending. Now his being a policeman may not have anything to do with him offending, but his offending has a lot to do with him being a policeman. Not a penny of police money has been abused, nor was it ever done on police time, he said. As if that matters. Now this is just another sick and twisted individual working for the Crown in a position of trust, in a position where he has access to the most vulnerable people in society. But I've seen nothing about his past interactions with the public whilst in the execution of his duties being a cause for concern. Although I would suggest it is of high concern and most definitely should be looked into.